Okay. Now, the last thing I want to do is go to the item craft window and adjust our render settings. So go into 100%. And yeah, so uh, it looks like the anti aliasing is fine. Yeah, I want to take the sharpness up. And oh, we don't want draft three D, so just set it off. Yeah. Motion blur. I'm not too sure about how this works in Amcraft, but um, I I think we still need to uh, enable it down here in our comp and. One second while this updates. And then enable, let's see, go up, up. Enable motion blur here. So that should just make it a little more realistic. There's always some motion blur in the shot. Okay, now something weird happened. Uh, I've never had it happen where checking motion blur causes a layer to become transparent. But apparently that's what happened here. Yeah, there's otherwise... No reason why that should have happened. So, uncheck, there we go. Let's add in a simple 
D D Area light not area light. No, of course not. A an ambient light. Yeah, let's make this slightly bluish. Yeah, something like that. There. Uh, now just wait for it to... E okay. We got a result. Looks terrible but uh, just change some values and keep going now looking at this again I'd say maybe 20% will work so we'll try 20% okay I think that looks better so only other thing I want uh, I want to also change the shadow darkness to like 60% over here. And, and I also realized that if we go into this material, Uh, I don't really like the specularity that I'm seeing, so turn down the This indirect uh, should be more of this grass color, color picker, and that didn't work at all. Hmm. Okay, just grab a green color, Maybe a little bit more yellowish. And I'm not actually sure if uh, there will be any light bouncing from our shadow catcher. Uh, that will have to probably be a little more experimenting at some point.
Okay, that should do it. Uh, so we should be able to uh, render this out, I think. And that's it. And before I end this, uh, I just want to uh, do a little more repositioning. So, I'm trying to remember how to uh, lock the preview, but I don't see that right now. So, Uh, what I'll do is just open a layer and that should allow me to change some things where I want to and then preview them. Like so. Yeah, and this seems pretty good to me, I think. So, uh, actually, probably don't need that much ambient. But, yeah. Uh, so, thank you for watching this tutorial. And I hope you'll check out uh, some more of my videos.